Hey guys, I'm so glad you found your way to my channel. Today's video is about why I love dubbed anime. Now, everybody has their own preference, but so like what you like. But I really hate it when people say English dub is trash. I mean, these voice actors work so hard at how they make a living, or they might have other jobs on the side, but they still love what they do. So, now, one of the reasons why I don't like sub anime is multiple people could be talking at the same time, so you see subtitles on the top and the bottom on the screen. If the voice actors' characters aren't clear to me, or they sound similar to other characters, then I have no idea who is talking. Plus, I'm an American and my first language is English. So of course I'm going to watch the dub if there is no... if there is a dub. Okay. Now, not every anime gets an English dub version, but this is 2020, and more English dub anime are getting made. For example, Anohana, or The Flower We Saw That Day, is now on Netflix, and it has an English dub. Who knew we would get that? And then, I've watched a few anime in English for some time now. When I watch a brand new anime in English, I like to try to figure out who is voicing the characters. For example, J. Michael Tatum and Chuck Huber. They follow me on Twitter. I'm very happy about that. Tatum is known as Tomoe from Kamisama Kiss. And Huber, you might know him as Android 17 from the Dragon Ball series. And let's see. If I watch an anime in sub first, and there's going to be a dubbed version of it, I'm going to watch it. I will watch that series again. A few series that I've watched in sub and then watched the English dub versions of includes Maid Sama, Kabuneri of the Iron Fortress, Trinity 7, Yamada-kun, and the Seven Witches. That's just a few. Sometimes, I'll choose to watch an anime purely based on what voice actors are going to be in it. Like, here's a few voice actors that have been around for some time, like over 10 years. I call them the old generation, but they're not. For example, Todd Haberkorn, Greg Ayers, and Lucy Christian. And the new generation, I think of them as people who I feel like should have more roles by now, or they've only had a few years in the voice acting industry. And those include Rachel London, Sean O'Connor, and Terry Rogers. And another thing about dubbed anime you get to hear certain voice actresses' range. Like, you wouldn't even realize that there's their voice until you really listen to it. For example, Caitlin Glass in Oran High School Host Club, she played Harari. 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 And Petra in Attack on Titan. A real good one is David Wald, played, I'm sorry if I mess up the name, Donato Gota? Ooh, sorry. He's from Food Wars. And then Mutsumi, Mitsumi Asuma. Sorry about these names. Kiss him, not me. When watching a new anime, you can try to figure out who the voice actor is. Sometimes you might be surprised, like I was, in Nanbaka. And Marissa Linty, she played Momoko, who I thought was Monica Riel. And she's known as her. She's known for playing Mira Jane from Fairy Tale. And then you have Chloe Daniels from High School DxD. And yes, I know about High School DxD. That's for something another day, like guilty pleasure. Anyway, you gotta look out for that one. And then you have, and she plays Osia. And I thought that was Leah Clark, who's also from Fairy Tale and played Mavis. Now. That's, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I'm going to drop a few links in the description to hopefully make you, persuade you to watch more dubbed anime. Like There are other people who dropped some videos about why they love dubbed anime. I've also dropped some links on below about 
dub anime and dub voice actors. So check those out. All right. And thank you for watching my video. Always subscribe, comment, like, and I hope you enjoy this video. And make sure you stay updated with my social media. I will put those also in the link below. See you later.